All right, they need their ass beats, man. I got Brittany Renner, bro. I don't know. She got she got some kind of little new finesse going on. She always got something going on, whether yeah. it's flat tummy tea. I thought that was Mariah uh, the fitness, Scientist. Uh, shit, they look exactly like. Who? What well, they said, Mariah the Scientist. Yeah, I thought oh, yeah. What well, they said, Mariah the Scientist uh, factory. All right, hold on real quick. I got a call from uh, somebody. You have a collect call from? What's good, bro? We recording right now. What you got to say? That's a lot of calls, y'all. Oh, Who wow. out here? Uh, it's me, Joe. Special guest. Yeah, special guest. You don't need to know his name. All right. Hey, man, listen, I ain't trying to sound like the feds. I just wanted to say happy seed day to Joe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, besides that, listen, I need a three-hour episode, dog. There's too much shit going on in the world. With, uh, what are you talking about, bonus episode? No, a regular episode. No, our, our bonus episode is probably going to be six hours. With the regular episode, three hours, bro. Well, you know where the address of the studio is, so Man. we don't know where you live at right now, so. Oh, I'm right around the corner. Don't worry about that. Okay, make that drive then. <laughs> All right, Joe. Tap in. All right. Oh, that was cool. That nigga bang is a call. <laughs> yeah. You ain't say thank you, nigga. Nigga say happy birthday. Nigga I did say, I did say, say I appreciate it. Nigga silent and shit. Man, shut up, nigga. All right, but yeah, Mariah. Like TikTok, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what they said, Mariah the Scientist Factory, they all look the same. Yeah, Mariah the Scientist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she always got a little scam going on. This is her new scam right now. She got the hijab on. She's saying she's living out her car and shit right there and shit. That's a Benz truck. I am about to say, that's a nice-ass car to live out of. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you're going to live out of a car, that's a good one. Straight up. Yeah. I know them seats. Mr. Ball. All the way back. Allahu Akbar. All right, bro. I've gone through a lot of changes internally. And as a result, my outer world has completely <laughs> crumbled. <laughs> she chat GBT this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's why she can't even read through it. Woo! Wow. Uh, leaving me incredibly uncertain in just about every area in my life. I have no idea where I'm going to live <laughs> or how I'm going to provide for my son. But Allah has moved mountains for me, and I trust that this will be no different. I feel like Alice when she ate the cookie and her feet went through the windows and she's crammed in the house like that. I've outgrown where I am. Oh, great. The facade is fading. Alhamdulillah. And I'm at a place where I don't want anything that doesn't have my name on it. Take it away. It serves no purpose here. And I don't want a penny more than I'm meant to have because I can do a lot with a little. So why are you making this video? This, what are you talking about? The facade about? is fading. And when the facade fades and all the BS is cleared out, it makes room for what has always been for you. Mm. Hold on, ain't this the bitch that was taking all the niggas' money and dating all the football players and basketball players yeah. and having their yeah, babies? Yeah, yeah, her baby daddy is PJ Washington. So what mm -hmm. the heaven is now, this bitch done ran out. <coughs> she, she got all the money first, got into it with all the niggas. They done yeah. cut the bitch off, too many niggas done hit. And now she finna fall back on this religion shit as a, you know what I'm saying? Bingo. Yeah. Also, I don't, I ain't gonna really say like, I'm going to be honest, though. I think this is a finesse. I think she's just trying to catch a Muslim nigga with money slipping. There so go. she just, yeah, this is just a grift. This is and treated this, like a queen. This is a lazy grift right here. She's she going to catch a nigga slipping. Nah, fast. <laughs> she's going to catch She one, got the game. Yeah, one of these it's Muslim proven. niggas with bread, they're going to be like, I got a little something for you, Brittany. Yeah. Yeah, she's so Muslim. Gonna she's Muslim now. That for the end of the week. Yeah, yeah. I know people. <laughs> I know people were saying like, "Oh, she need to go get a job and all that." I'm like, this is her job right here. To get the fin finesse a nigga. For real? Yeah, she's going to catch one. She's going to. Hey man, she might catch this nigga right here. And she using that look. That look right there, she using it. She gonna catch this nigga right here. Yep. She gonna catch this nigga Kevin Gates slipping. You yeah. heard that song about this nigga get like him getting married in uh Abu Dhabi or some shit. Nah. So who? This nigga got a song about not having sex until marriage. Like, man, I don't even want to talk about that. Well, he shit. got all kinds of songs. He got a song about him uh him begging his girl to let his homie run a train on her. He got all yeah. kinds of crazy songs. Yeah. Kevin Gates is <laughs> Kevin Gates is uh interesting. Wild boy. Yeah, very interesting, man. That's, that's crazy. All right, I got this one shit. I don't feel like talking about this Ruby Rose shit. <laughs> um these one niggas they tried to rob a uh, I think they tried to rob a bank and they came in through the ceiling. 
Police are searching for suspects in a bold robbery. The pair jumped through the ceiling of a check cashing business. Oh, they duct taped a worker and took more than one hundred fifty thousand okay. dollars in cash. Channel 2's Tom Regan is live outside that business on Martin Luther King Jr. Drive in Northwest Atlanta. Tom, the crime seemed well planned. Yeah, Wendy, this is definitely not a spur of the moment crime. Clearly, these guys did their homework, studying the layout of this building, figuring out how they could break through the roof to score a huge payday. Does that shock you, that amount of money getting stolen? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. It is. And then went through the ceiling? Yeah. That's crazy. Fred Stewart cashes his checks here. That nigga like, I wish I would have did that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Let them niggas at night. I need a fine man. I got All the time. But he wasn't here the morning of September 3rd. <clears throat> Surveillance video captures the bold, brazen crime. Just as an employee is getting ready to open, two guys break through the ceiling and drop down, knocking the worker to the ground. One is threatening her to tell them where the money's kept. She leads them to a safe that they empty. At one point in the big money heist, they tie up the employee, according to police. So how is the employee doing? I guess okay, you know, she wasn't hurt, but she was, you know, she was duct taped. In addition to the safe, police say the two emptied a couple of cash drawers running out of the building with a bag full of $150,000 cash. It's crazy. Well, I hope they catch the guys and receive the money back. <laughs> nah, bro. Well, they ain't hurt, or they, they didn't hurt the lady, so. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's a lick. That's a nice little lick. Yeah, right damn. Right Straight Damn, I thought I got a lick for you, game. Well, I thought the them niggas got caught. Nope. Oh, oh, never mind. I thought they got caught. Uh huh. Damn, bro. <laughs> you uh -huh. I thought they got caught, bro. Well, yeah. all right. Let's yeah. let's let's be real, bro. That's either one, she know who the motherfuckers is. Yes. Or two, they used to work there. I don't know that it's either, honestly. They just might have went in there and cast a chick one time. So or there had to be somebody that, every time. Not even be, just that. had to be somebody that worked. You got to like know the inside of the building. There had to be somebody Nigga, that worked. Nigga, they ain't come in through the building. It, gotta, it could have been somebody that did maintenance up there. It could have been somebody I was somebody just about that, to say that before you cut me off, nigga. My bad. I was about to be someone that worked exactly. on the building. Exactly. Be like, yeah, this one dropped right down into the... Be like what? Not Walking even just like, that. He probably he probably ain't even know he was you know a part of a crime type shit. Like man, these shitty. I'd be scared to go up there because as soon as you take a step, you could drop right through the. You know what I mean? He'd be like, hmm. Whenever they were working on a building, they fell through. Like shit, we might rob this bitch <laughs> <laughs> and got away with it. Now, that's a lick. <laughs> now that's a lick. They actually because you the other nigga you seen it took him a long time to fall down. Yeah, and he was like, fuck, look at that nigga. Want to break his leg? <laughs> somebody was walking through the front door when they was doing this shit. I wonder. Yeah, see it was like somebody was just passing by and was like, what the fuck? It yeah. was like y'all ever see the movie The Town? The oh. Town is the bank robbery movie. Yeah, it was the scene when they had robbed the bank and they and they had on a little mask. They look over, they seen the cop looking at them. And he was just staring at their ass, and he was like, shit, I ain't seen nothing. I ain't seen nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to watch that. Sometimes <laughs> shit just work out like that. Yeah, that's For real. Yeah. 100K is a good league game. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, that's bro. a great league. I ain't, yeah. never, I ain't never saying niggas did anything legal, but y'all did some shit, and the cops seen y'all, and like. Not the cops, but shit, we were the store in Orlando, and as soon as I walked in. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, statues. As soon as I walked in, nigga, like, seen me. And the nigga walked out immediately, like a patron, you know what I'm saying? Bruh seen me, and I guess that nigga seen what kind of time I was on, immediately exited the store. That's crazy. I'm going to edit that out. Yeah, that's just, crazy. Just, just, you, know, you just admit it. <laughs> I'm going to edit that out. Just and just safe. because you say uh, Statue of Limitations, that doesn't necessarily I mean, I didn't say what save store. you. It, huh? it is a seven year statue, but I like, ain't say what store. Say what what store? Out. When? There might none be. You might fit the profile that. tonight. Yeah. Nah, yeah. none of that. Last week, I guarantee. I mean, I guarantee that. Uh, it was in Dallas. I didn't so. this though. Nah, you better the, say that. Uh, the owner, he uh, he used to be on powder, so he ain't even know. Like he 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 didn't want to call it in like that. So. Stop right there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> go back I into got, it. I got FSU. They need the ass beat, man. Worst team, worst college football team ever. They yeah. played. Me they paid state. Memphis. Yeah, they paid Memphis to play in Florida. One point three million paid them niggas to get get their ass spanked. Now we zero three. Yeah, I ain't watching no more of you punk ass niggas games. That's how y'all do. That's a good yeah. league. Too. I know you ain't talking. I'm gonna let you get your shit off. It's your birthday. 
And I feel like I've been roasting you enough. You ain't got a dating ass beat? Shit, the Gators. <laughs> oh, yeah, y'all Damn fired. Jaguars y'all fired y'all, fired y'all coach. Oh, yeah, yeah we Jaguars had too? to. You think the Jaguars need to fire the coach? Too? I don't know that they need to fire. You oh, know, that last game, Doug lost that shit. I'm going to be honest. They might actually, just because here's my thing. We've had a decent team the last two years, and it definitely doesn't show on the record. Yeah. You know? It's like we keep losing. That's that is we dope. losing games that we should. If we lose next game, I legit told somebody. I say, yo, Sunday, don't even worry about shit. Cash the check. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the Browns ain't finna beat us. <coughs> I thought that was an easy one. And then after seeing the Dolphins play that game, they played and the way they lost. I was like, bro, we should be two and zero, bro. Straight up. But that just go back to even the Mark Brunel days where we used to lose games by like three points. Yep. Easy yep. game. I like that's just the story of the Jaguars. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. Uh, I don't feel like talking about these lame niggas skipping through these bitches. Okay, oh, this nah, one, this one, needs this one from Grand for National. This nigga, this is my favorite food reviewer, but this nigga tripping, bro. Mm-hmm. I just play a little bit of it. Currently, I'm submerged in raisin cane sauce. A hundred gallons of raisin cane sauce. Now that I've said that out loud for me and the homies in the world to hear, this shit is insane. It's insane. Let me tell you how we got here. We went through 76 gallons. That's how Diddy should have had that loop come in. 36 gallons of ketchup, <laughs> salted taste, pepper taste, what? Worcestershire Diddy sauce, salt, pepper, Diddy should have had that loop come in. All right, chill. Uh, he probably did. We did the whole he nine. It took about 10, 15 <laughs> hours, a, but yeah, here like, we are. Karisha we'll also get that be trying bucket. all the popular <laughs> fast food items with me submerged <laughs> in raisin cane sauce. Because by the end of this video, you will know which fast food items goes best with raisin cane sauce. There you go. I'm Especially sorry, start out with but dipping your food in sauce cane, probably like that got your meat like, and your feet in now. it is it's crazy. crazy. It's not a direct connect. Because no, the liquid so dense. Fries too. I don't sauce, give a I damn. Not. A chicken sandwich. I do. Anyone okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's crazy. So, they're they're stepping in that dirt sauce. sauce. Yeah, they good for one, for two. You had to sink your meat through the top layers anyway. Fries. Yeah, I don't close. It's your body, nigga. I don't give a damn. Damn. You don't like you, nigga. Oh, yeah. The sauce thing is the like company. Next, we got wing stop, lemon pepper. You know what? Dipping it in Something the about wing stop. When they they, they, they taste it all. Yeah, they really hit a miss, though. Cane sauce. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Another level of greatness for sure. Corn. I'm not going to lie. This is original. I've never <laughs> seen nobody do this. Yeah, nobody ever did this. I, <laughs> I, I see that. Because some coon like, shit. Damn. Can, can a black brother do something, Joe? I, I mean, respect- that's why he in there for Danny Day ass beat. Hey, man, I respect him as a okay. content creator, but he coming up with original shit. Nobody else doing this. I ain't never seen Keith, nobody doing Keith Lee ass ain't in no sauce. Nah. That's true. <laughs> right, he took it to another level. <laughs> yeah, he get, I, yeah. Now that I think about it, we might have to retract this Danny Day ass beat. I kind of, <laughs> as a nigga that. I don't know that he could be real <laughs> nigga of the week, though. Oh, no, no, nah, definitely. Nah. I'm just going to retract it. They need to ask me. Okay, I was going to say. Because <laughs> it's sometimes, like, as niggas that create content, we should know that, like, sometimes, yeah, like, you got to think out of the box and 100%. do, like, shit. That, like, yeah, you got to set your stand. Because you at the end of the day, because him and Keith Lee just be sitting in their cars. Mm-hmm. It's and getting it's boring. Like, you got yeah, they should get boring. That's real. I do, I do give Chime Time some credit because he, he did a, uh episode, well, you could call him episode. He did a video fucking this one 11 minutes long. So he damn near episode. Yeah. But he did a video where he was at Bucky's and he like spent the night at Bucky's and camped out. And really? I was like, hey, niggas ain't doing that. I remember people doing that at Walmart and Target and shit. Oh, yeah. I niggas remember that. Niggas go to jail for that shit, too. Yeah, niggas would be in the uh, fucking paper towel aisle. Oh, you camp behind. out inside. Yeah. yeah. And do uh, shoot videos. That's crazy. <laughs> Definitely crazy. There was a couple of people who got caught though. They were pretending like they were doing it, but it was like they used to go like Walmart at, at like 10 p.m. or some shit or early in the morning. Yeah. And pretend like they're camping. It would really they while well, it's closed, but really that bitch still be open. <laughs> That's funny. All right, this one from Marcel. Well, Bucky's don't close, do it. No, nah, he was talking about Walmart though. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, these people they think they got uh, telekinesis. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah.
literally a dude on Instagram that sets up battles in some room to where they have two pieces of aluminum foil and they do that back and forth against against each other and there are all kinds of rules to it and all kinds of yeah, shit. First of, is yeah, crazy. first of all, bro, that shit blowing from the gust of wind. Yes, nigga. Yeah, the aerodynamics <clears throat> and currents and that's what that is. That's not any Hey, power. man, I, I'm going to get him the real nigga of the week because he got him a dummy right there. He got her hooked. I said on Twitter, I like by Mark, they're gonna be in a polyamorous or a relationship. Yeah, yeah. A chick like that, yeah. you can yeah. talk her into anything. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I actually. even tell your girl, let's go in the kitchen and make make aluminum foil fly. I'm finna get these hoes in there. Tell, what they <laughs> Look at what I can do. <laughs> you can, now you try. <laughs> you could tell her literally anything. Like, be like, go rob yeah. a bank. Let's Straight jump. Up. Let's jump off. Look her. at let's her. Jump I, I was gonna say, top. look at her right there. Yeah. How old is she? Is she over twenty one? <laughs> I don't know, oh, bro. She might. Um, she had the perfect age to ruin her. I don't want to say that the wrong clearly. thing. She. I about to say, bro. She might be like nineteen. Yeah, bro. I'm not she, gonna make any. Comments. She looks young and impressionable. He looks young also, but like she looks like she just fresh out of high school and this nigga just finessing her. Ass. Is this their mama house or is this their house? It looks probably like it might mama be. House. It might be one of their parents' house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't make. Yeah, bro. They retarded though. Yeah, he from that. He got him a dummy. The chain says it all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, bro. He, when I see niggas like that, I know what kind of time they on. Stones, man. You don't like the gyms and stones again? Nah. Yeah, he got him one, bro. Soon you got as you a chain like that? Mm-hmm. All right, good. Cause, yeah. I see people with him, though. Soon as, her, soon as her credit get good, he like, let's you go start, get this Hellcat. You nah, start he telling like, me you do jewelry and I see them copper rings? Yeah, it's time to diss this guy. Yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, man. He's driving that Corolla right now. She probably got like a uh, yeah. She that nigga Malibu. Tearing, that nigga tearing her car up. Yeah, Altima, 100%. Malibu. She got that car. Probably a red Altima. Yeah. With the bitches, like I said, my Mark. They are gonna be. I'm gonna look on their page, and Mark gonna come back to it. See if they they gonna be in a poly relationship. He gonna have three other women. Yeah, and I'll tell you, yeah. Shout just, out to Gang. Yeah, salute him. He got him one. That's yeah. my real nigga of the week, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yo, they need their ass beat. My real nigga of the week. <laughs> as long as you know how to get to that bag and say the right things when it's time to sound. <laughs> yeah. All right, this one, we're going to do one more. This one from Fade. Actually, no, nah, we're going to do that one from Rand also. Somebody tweeted, they said, so uh, one of my followers sent me a video of her playing with her coochie. Okay. And at the end, she tasted herself and yeah. gagged like she wanted to throw up. Okay. I guess I need to block her, right? Like it came back a couple minutes later, she blocked my ass. I'm like, yeah, she did it for you, bro. But that's yeah. crazy. I yeah. would have been like. <laughs> I would have I would have been so disgusted. Oh, my God. I'm like, bitch, what you tasted that made you want to throw up? I think that's trolling, though. Huh? I think it's a little bit of trolling. I don't think she gagged. I ain't never seen a bitch gag. I mean, yeah. I don't ever want to see a bitch gag. I'm doing that either. But y'all ever seen a bitch gag off doing it? No, no. thank God. <laughs> yeah, a little cap. I mean, I mean, if she that, got a STD, she might have gagged. I mean, yeah, that might be that one chick that was at the, the shit that we talking about. You she said it like she might have met Poon I don't know. It's man. got an STD flavor to it. Hey, that, oh, might, that bit might be tart. All right, bitch, what you tasted that made you gag? It's straight up. That's <laughs> true. All right, last one from Rare. What did bitch say? It say she not. Oh, this one. I can't crazy. read it. They can't read it. She not strapped, but she strapped. Why you got your strap on? Why you, <laughs> Why you got your strap on, dog? No, I did it. I'm cheating, no. Yo, then you strap hard and shit. You act like that's how we don't sit out here like that. No, we don't sit out here like that. No Diddy, though. Look at that shit. No Diddy. Look at him. Look at her. Look at her. No Diddy. It's like an Arizona. That's <laughs> what. This should get Aki Dior at. No, it's not Aki. She's drawing, though. Look. Why you got your... That's enough, man. Stubbs be doing some weird shit. Yeah. Y'all ever seen that one video where that stud pulled her pants down? She's like, how much dick you want? Yeah, that how was How much crazy. dick you want? That was crazy. You gotta get studs, brains to science like CTE players. He actually right about that. <laughs> <laughs> like, why, why? Why would you do that? Studs be tough as hell too. You ain't I right. respect them, but they be doing silly shit like that. Like, why? What do you gain? From we this? know it's not true. Nah, bro. My but favorite. We- <laughs> Some of my favorite videos right now, when they be going up the stud, they be like, what's your real name and what's your stud name? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I that like shit be hilarious. Like 
That's that right. should be hilarious. They be like, "What's your stud name? Can Tank. You? What's your <laughs> real <laughs> name? Michelle. <laughs> <Right. laughs> yeah. And it'd be funny because they be saying it like the nigga way. And then yeah. they jump when they they're like Keisha. <laughs> How their mama used to call him <laughs> for real. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's been a been a good episode. All right, yeah. We about to wrap up. Yup. Happy birthday to, to Joe again, man. Happy birthday, gang. Appreciate, sure. you, dog. Sorry, Appreciate you, dog. Appreciate you, dog. Appreciate you. Oh, I yes, would man. clap, but I'm holding a laptop. Yeah. And I don't want to drop this shit. Oh, fuck you, too. <laughs> <laughs>